Hello, welcome to Software Pulse, building Java desktop applications, and I'm John McNeil. And welcome to the next video in the session on um, web services. If you recall, in the last video, we finished off by creating a web archive file, a WAR file, ready to deploy onto a server. And what we're going to look at in this video is setting up a server, deploying the WAR file, and then using SOAP UI to connect to it. Um, and then we will come full circle. So I'm going to use a web server called Jetty. Um, it comes with um, Java and Eclipse. Um, there are many. I mean, Glassfish is another one that I think comes with um, Java. Um, and there are many. There's Tomcat, Apache. There, there are lots out there. I'm just picking Jetty because it's lightweight. It was easy to set up and use and get going for um, the, the trivial application that I've got. So let's take a look at roughly what I did to get that up and running. So the first thing you've got to do is you've got to actually um, download Jetty. And I went to the Eclipse website to do that. So I went to eclipse.org slash jetty and then um, clicked on the downloads option and just picked the zip file. Um, this version is 9.4.26, I think I'm using 9.4.18, um, but they're much of a muchness. So what you end up with is a zip file. So this is the entry point in my zip file and in there you have a whole load of files like that. And what you do is you just place all of this on your hard drive somewhere. Extract it to your hard drive. So I did that. I extracted mine to a my C drive to a folder called Jetty, and then I just put everything else in there. Um, and, and that's it. So one of the things that Jetty recommend if you're going to run it is that you don't run it from the root, that you set up a, another um, directory and um, and then put everything in there and run it from there. But they also supply you with a, a demo folder. So all I've done is I've all I'm going to do, sorry, is I'm going to use the demo folder to run Jetty, um, and then I'm going to drop my WAR file into the demo folder, and then use that. So <clears throat> one of the things we will need is um, I'm going to need a command prompt to get Jetty up and running. Um, so there's my command prompt and I'm just going to change to that directory. Um, sorry, I, I, I need to, I'm going to go into this directory called demo base and then in the demo base there is a an any file and something else that we need, possibly the run file. So once in the demo base directory, what we need to do is we need to start up the Jetty server from here and it will use this um, root directory we're standing in as, as the basis for that. So I'm going to call Java, and like I've said in previous videos, I have I don't have the Java environment variables set. So Java home, and and um, and the other one I can't think of, um, aren't in my path. So I have to specify the the complete path to where the Java um, where Java is, and then I want to use the jar file. start jar there. So that's the jar file I want to use because there's not one in demo base. But I'm going to use the start any from. So the any file is what configures um, what we're running but we need to use the start jar from there. So I'm going to make sure I'm pointing at the right place because I don't think that is. Let me get rid of all of that and start again. 
So in order to get the Jetty server running from the um, from this folder we're start standing in, what we need to do is we need to run Java or call Java, should I say, specify that we're going to use a jar file, specify where the jar file is, um, and because we're standing in this folder, it will look for the start.ini file in this folder, which it will find, um, because we have one. And what we're actually doing is we're going to call this start jar here, that is in the root distribution of Jetty, but we're going to use the start.ini file from the demo base, and that will form the, the root of our our server. So if I press that now, what we should have is we should have the Jetty server load up and you'll be able to see it's loading because loads of things will scroll by where it's saying it's it's loading various bits and pieces. So um, and I'm just trying to scan all, everything that's going through to try and I mean that looks pretty good but obviously we can test this. What we can do is um, if I go here, what I can do is I can just go local host. And I can actually spell it right. And then I think it's 8080. Uh, oh, I've missed the O off the 80. Do that. And the reason why I've put colon 8080 is because Jetty by default runs on port 8080. Most web servers on the web will run on port 80, so you don't need, and browsers are by default will use port 80, so you don't need to specify that. If you change the port that your web server is running on, um, and lots of these small web servers do choose to run on different ports, and port 8080 is kind of a, a standard for like testing. Um, um, then you need to specify the port you want to use. And so there we are, we can see that we've got our Jetty server up um, and it's on port 8080 and that's good. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to, um, I'll minimize that, move it out of the way. We're going to take our WAR file, our web archive file, and we're going to drop it. So we're now, this is now, demo base is now our root of the, the app, our application server, our web server. And in web apps, there are a whole load of, you can see there's some other WAR files in here. And then we are just going to drop ours in alongside it. And then we come over here and what we should see is it get processed. Okay. Something moved. And there we are. And if we now go to our browser, let me just refresh that. So that's what we originally had. What we're now going to do is we're going to try and call the web service, our web service, and get the um, the web descriptor, web service description. And there it is. So we know our web service is loaded because it's given us this web service description here. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to copy all of that. And I'm just going to, off screen, I'm just going to put it into a notepad file somewhere um, and save it as a um, WSDL file. So, um, let me bring it down here and um, so, uh, what's it? Hello age dot pistol. And I'll save it in there. Or oh, that may have given it a text extension, but I'll sort it out later. Right, but that's because that's what we're gonna need next. So I'll leave our web server, Jetty web server up and running. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna launch SOAP UI um, and then we're gonna create a new project and we're gonna create a test request against this Jetty server here. You'll notice I switch between glasses depending on how large or small the font is and how far away the screens are. So, 
this is Soap UI starting up. Um, I'm just going to close that down. And um, there was the original project I showed at the beginning. But what we're going to do is I'm going to go file, um, no project, no nope, file maybe, uh, create an empty project. It's been so long since I've done this, I can't really remember how to use the tool. So this could be quite interesting. Um, I didn't like the look of that. Ah, so you create a project and then you add a WSDL because that's what we had. You browse to wherever you put the WSDL. Um, there. Right, so I want to create a sample request for all operations because I know there's only one, so we should just get one single request. Okay, there we are, it's called say hello, which we, we know because that's what we said it was going to be. And we open it up and we've got some question marks in there, so it knows there's two arguments, so let's put some question marks in there. Now, I think, so let me put Paul in there and we'll put 16. So if I press the green button, what I'd expect to see is a response saying, uh, hello, Paul, I understand you are 16 years old. Um, so let's press it. And apart from a typo in my, in my web service, missing a U in understand, I've got, hello, Paul, I understand that you are 16 years old. So there we are. And um, Simon, and Simon can be 66 years old. And we press the button, and there we are. Hello, Simon. I understand you are 66 years old. And if you look up here, you can see the URL. It's calling localhost port 8080. Um, so there we are. We've built our web service. We've, we've built the code for our web service. We've then created our artifacts and all our linking for it. We've wrapped it up into a web archive file. We've quickly installed a Jetty server onto our machine. We've loaded our WAR file into our Jetty server, and then we've called it in a browser. We've obtained the, the, the web description language file, and then we've used that in SOAP UI to build a test call to our web service. So there you are. That's the naked web service completely revealed to you. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this um, and you found it useful. I'm John McNeil and this is Software Pulse building Java desktop applications and thank you for watching.